Welcome back to another episode of the Radiant series. So today we're going to look at how to install a thermostat or in fact replace one as the process is exactly the same. Okay if it's a brand new install you should be left with a tail of thermostat wire. So the first thing you want to do is cut that down and see if you have some play with the wire and if possible do not cut it too short as it will only make your life harder and give you no room for error. Now you want to strip that wire back and I like to do a thumb to little finger distance amount like a telephone distance away and you can always cut more down as needed. Now for this thermostat you only need two wires the red and the white wire so I trimmed down the other three wires as this case it was a five wire thermostat yours may be less or maybe more but unlikely and I wouldn't cut them off completely as you may need it in the future for a common or if one of the other wires gets damaged you have an option to use one of the other color wires. Finally, for this part, strip the red and white wires about a quarter inch down to reveal the copper. Okay, now time to secure the back plate to the wall. What I do is I measure the distance between the two holes and then mark it on the wall like so, which was three and a quarter inches in this case, and then do a vertical line, which is nice and level like so. And then we want to drill the holes for the wall plugs, which in this case was 3 16th hole here. You probably can get away with some drywall screws and no wall plugs, but in this case, we're doing it properly. In this case, the thermostat is being used for a radiant heating system, but thermostats can be used in general for all kinds of heating and cooling applications. So now we just want to poke that bit of wire through the, the area uh, on the back plate and secure the red and white wires into the slots which conveniently are labelled R and W for red and white. The way a thermostat works, it's just a simple switch in a circuit. So by completing the circuit, you then activate the various other things on that circuit, including in this case, the boiler and the pump, etc. So now we just want to secure that back plate with screws. So I go the majority of the way, have another quick check with the level and then go all the way. There's nothing worse than a wonky thermostat. Now we want to put the batteries in and this is just a little side note if you are ever failing to get heat going or even cooling going in your house the first thing you want to do is check the batteries in that thermostat. For me personally when it comes to thermostats the more simple the better and in this case you just have a switch for on and off and then you simply set the temperature in which you desire for that room. Thank you for watching and if you found anything useful please like and subscribe for more.